All right, YouTube. So today we're taking a look at the Note 10 Plus in 2022, trying to determine if it's still worth picking up. Um, so I did get this through the Amazon Renewed program. And just as a quick reference point, sometimes you get things that are in almost perfect and like new condition. And other times you get something like this that's all kind of scratched and dinged up on the back. No damage to the screen itself, so functionality is not compromised, but it's something to keep an eye out on, but more to come about this particular device. So Note 10 Plus, um, some of the specs, I mean, this is released in, I believe, in 2019, Snapdragon 855 processor, which is still more than capable here in 2022. So this device did come with 12 gigs of RAM, um, and then 256 gigs of storage with expandable memory. So that is something that has gone away for the, uh, the Note lineup. And the Note lineup itself has kind of been uh, discontinued uh, so far from Samsung. We don't know if they're going to kind of uh, bring it back at some point. But for now, it seems to be discontinued. So one of the last of the Notes, this one and the Note 20 uh, Ultra. I guess was the very last Note branded phone. But trying to determine, is this something that you would want to pick up in the year 2022? But like I said, the processor still more than capable. Uh, very few hiccups, if any, that I've seen since using the device. Screen is absolutely beautiful. Uh, almost edge to edge display, quad HD, um, really nice speaker set on this particular note. The S Pen on the right side of the note, which a lot of people love. I also love the placement of the speaker, which is on the uh, right side because I tend to lean my phones to the left. And when you hold it in this um, landscape mode, you're not really blocking the speaker if you're doing gaming or things like that. Something to keep an eye out on if you play older games, like I have a couple that I usually use to test the performance of the phone, like uh, NBA 2K22 is one of my, no, NBA 2K20, I'm sorry, is one of my favorite games. There it is there for whatever reason, it does not scale well on this particular device. So I wasn't really able to play that game on this phone. So if you're playing older games, just be aware of that. You may run into some scaling issues for things that are not optimized. Um, and you probably run into that a lot with Android phones. But one of the other games, the H5, like I always mentioned, that I test out. Um, I didn't see it drop too many frame rates, but when the uh, um, activity gets really busy during the game, then you can kind of see a couple of frames drop here and there, but still more than capable in my opinion. Now, when you're getting this thing uh, via Renewed, you kind of expect some of the best uh, quality of the device one issue I've had, and you can comment below if you guys have run into it, but usually I get some good devices through Amazon Renewed. This particular time, though, like I've already showed you the scratches, and one of the other issues that I have, and I finally discovered this is not a Bluetooth S Pen, which this phone should come equipped with. So this appears to be some sort of replacement S Pen, and it took me a while to figure it out, but I kept getting this message about trying to connect the S Pen and it asks you to insert it back into the device, but it never connects. And I finally figured out after <laughs> resetting the phone a couple of times that it is not a Bluetooth S Pen. So that's a, a huge issue for me and it's probably gonna be one of the reasons why I either return or um, exchange the device because I do like a couple of the Bluetooth features that you get with the S Pen. Um, one of which is changing the tracks. So if I have this uh, hooked up to an external speaker, I can just click the button and skip to the next track. Um, I also use it if we're taking group pictures, you can kind of hold the phone off at a distance and then click the button to take the picture. So I find those features very convenient. Um, and it's a bummer that they did not put that in the uh, details when trying to purchase this device off Amazon. So, you know, if you do decide to pick one of these up, make sure you test out all those features. I know another time I did pick up 
something for Amazon renewed. The S Pen was lodged into the device and would not uh, retract. So I had to return that one. I believe that was a Note 9 and that was a, a while ago, but that did happen. So sometimes it's hit or miss with the program, but the good thing is if you do have an issue, they seem to be uh, willing to either let you return the device or exchange it. So just keep that in mind. But uh, as far as things that might be missing, that might be deal breakers for you, there is no 5G connectivity on this device, which um, may be important to you or may not. Uh, it does have 4G LTE that still gets a pretty good signal, at least in my area. And as far as the screen, there is no 120 hertz refresh rate. So this is still the old 60 hertz screen. But just for day-to-day -day task, I find it to still be very snappy. Um, you know, 120 hertz is very nice to have, especially on a huge display like this. But uh, for me, it would not be a deal breaker. The S Pen is more of a deal breaker um, or lack of a Bluetooth S Pen is more of a deal breaker than not having the 120 hertz uh, screen. But you guys hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about this device using it in 2022. Um, I highly recommend it, especially if you can get it at a really good price. This one, I believe when I picked it up, it was around uh, $340 plus tax. I'm going to say the sweet spot. If you can get this thing, you know, even closer to 300 bucks or less, it is a steal, especially um, with all the features that this phone still has which seems to be taken away going forward with a lot of Samsung devices. Like I said, no more expandable memory. They kind of got rid of that. Um, I believe they start you out with eight gigs of RAM on the newer devices like the S22 Ultra, which kind of replaces the Note lineup. Uh, I don't think Samsung is doing us a good service. They're taking away a lot of features. They're taking away a lot of accessories, but the price tends to go up. So that is one of the reasons why I do look into programs like this. Um, so you guys can hit me up. Let me know your experience about the Amazon Renew program. And until the next one, peace.